Albert Elaine, and this is my Genius Hour TED Talk on Random Acts of Kindness. Kindness is something that I value so much in life. It's a quality that I believe everyone should portray. I've been subject to many challenges and hardships throughout my life, and I don't know if it wasn't for the support and kindness of my friends, family, and even strangers if I'd be the same person I am today. I believe kindness has the power to transform and change our world. It has the ability to let people know that they're important, feel valued, and know that they matter. I believe that kindness acts like a boomerang, that when you do an act of kindness, that kindness will come back to you in a moment when you need it the most. These are all some of the reasons why I was very interested in interest interested in researching acts of kindness and the impacts they have on us who do them and the people who are receiving the acts of kindness and how this really plays out in a school atmosphere. When I started to begin my research, I found that it's proven that kindness can improve someone's health, life satisfaction, self-worth, energy, optimism, and their ability to connect with others. Kindness also decreases anxiety, depression, and blood pressure. And this is not only between a person who is doing an act of kindness and receiving an act of kindness, it's also for any individuals who observe this act of kindness. Further into my research, when I started to find actual random acts of kindness that people were doing, I was astounded by what I found. People were volunteering at homeless or dog shelters, were helping cleaning up their neighborhoods, were sending nice messages to random strangers or people they're close with, telling them how much they appreciate them. They were telling people how beautiful they were or helping them with their homework assignments. Or some people simply were just smiling at others. Hearing about these stories put me in a better mood and it inspired myself to go out and act with kindness. Therefore, I think this is how we should treat students and inspire them ourselves to go act with kindness. In today's world and in our classroom, students are so obsessed and consumed with social media, reality TV, and celebrity gossip. I want students to be excited about kindness and be consumed with acts of kindness. I think we should make kindness trending, make it viral, make it something that students are proud about. Later into my research, I found many schools that are using kindness in their curriculum. One curriculum in particular from the Random Acts of Kindness organization had four steps that they used in their classrooms. These four steps were one, to inspire their children to act with kindness. This was done by showing them many ways that people benefit from these acts of kindness. Two, was to empower them to be creative and find their own unique passions on what they want to do with kindness. The third was to act. This was to help them put their random acts of kindness into action and help them with the resources and knowledge they needed in order to do so. And the fourth was to share. This was to share their acts of kindness with each other and collaborate on further acts of kindness. So those were just some simple ways that random acts of kindness can be implemented into the classroom. I'm going to challenge all you future teachers and see how you can implement kindness into your future classroom. Do you think you have the power to change the lives of your children and make them change the lives of our community? I think we do. Thank you.